Hi, welcome back to Pappy Tinkers. My new uh, Win How Jin How fountain pen has run out of the first ink that I was testing in it, and it's time to clean it. So I thought this would be a good time to try out my new airbrush cleaner that I made. So hang on a minute, and we'll see how this works. I'm glad you stuck around for all that. So, let's just get straight to business. We're gonna take this apart, and I had used Diamine's Imperial Purple in here. I had bought my first sample kit that maybe you've seen the video of that the other day. And I wanted to try my new airbrush cleaner. I have a video posted on that of how to make this your own make your own version of it I know you can clean these with just tap water but the the mixture has a little bit of extra cleany stuff in it so let's suck some of my juice up fill up the nib and we'll squirt that into my little waste thing here. This jar is just the, the jar that I use for cleaning out my airbrushes so that I'm not spraying the airbrush uh, over spray and mist all over the shop or garage or wherever I'm painting it. And I thought, hey, this stuff has some extra cleaning and lubricating qualities to it, so why not give it a try? So far, it seems to be doing good. You'll notice, you might notice some bubbles in here. And that's because there is a little bit of uh, cleaner in my solution. I think I will use distilled water to give it the, the, the final rinse. I'm going to apologize again for the little extra splices in here from the Tinker Dogs who like to be guarding and patrolling, making sure that the squirrels and the Bigfoots and the Anybody driving by doesn't kidnap old Pappy Tinkers. But so far that hasn't happened yet. So let's take a look at the barrel so far. The, the, the... This looks pretty clean. This looks pretty clean already. We're going to dump that out and put some new juicy juice in there. Give it a little rinse. Give it a little squirt. And we'll suck some more up. Nice and clean. I don't notice any purple in there. That's good. That's good. Let's do that again and suck it. Oh, I don't have enough in there to suck it through the nib, but that's okay. We'll just add more. I probably should be doing this over uh, something that's got a lip on it so that that nib doesn't fall all the way out. See the, I don't know if you can see it through here, but there's still some purple coming through the, through the nib. So we'll run some clean through it a few more times just to get it all the way cleaned out. Squirty, 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 squirty. I don't know how necessary it is to use 
anything other than tap water to clean them but I know how much different a completely clean airbrush is compared to one that's got a little bit of gunk still in it and it is a world of difference so I'm just assuming it would be the same way for a fountain pen it's tight tolerance is inside so can you see this it looks pretty clear now but we'll run a couple more through it just because I can and this stuff is so cheap to make that that I'm not worried about wasting any of it I have used this solution to soak an old uh, dried up nib and feed tip in and it seemed to break it down pretty well so I figured well why not try it with just a, something that's getting a regular cleaning this will be my last batch through that and suck up some more and see if we're how clean it is this time oh, that looks pretty good that looks pretty clear I'm getting in there clean anything I don't see any residue of purple in there so we'll go ahead and squirt this out one last time we'll dump the rest of my cleaning solution back into the back into the bottle here give it a wipe Turn it out. let's see I have some distilled water over here let me pour that and there might be a pause through here as the dogs are barking outside. Okay, this is just distilled water that I used to make my airbrush cleaning solution with. And we'll suck some through the feed tube. that out one more through the feed tube to go into there now that I think about it perhaps I should have just been using the um, suck up the distilled water through the feed through the reservoir through the well that's how new I am to fountain pens that I don't know the name of everything besides the nib But I'm learning. I feel silly for saying this, but I went like six years or more of just using the cartridges. I like black. I think I used blue once or twice, but I didn't like it. Things that I bought from from Hobby Lobby. Hush up over there, Loki. Because I didn't know. I, I, I just thought that all there was were those little cartridges or you could buy a bigger bottle and if you had the fancy um, um, reservoir like this and you would fill up these reservoirs instead of the cartridges but the variety of inks is just it, it's just given me a whole new spark of, of excitement for fountain pens and if you watched the, my uh, opening video, if I can figure out how to put a, a, a link up to wherever that unboxing uh, of Goulet pins is, to look at all those colors and go, oh, wow, yeah, cool. 
I still haven't got to try them out and I hope to make a video of that also and I found that putting a little a uh, couple drops of ink in the reservoir like this then writing for a couple days that's a very long process to get it to go uh, to, to vary it to, to to write some testing out speaking of writing let's just put it, bring a piece of paper over here see if we got some water flowing down oh yes we do and I see no color in there so that's good we'll give this we'll, we'll dump out the rest of this water in here distilled water and we'll call this clean so this appears to work very well good I am going to post post a link at the end of this to uh, my recipe for the airbrush cleaning solution and if you wish you can watch that hopefully you'll like and subscribe and leave me any comments about cleaning fountain pens or what you use because like I said I'm new to this 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 variety of them and I'm enjoying it writing all my notes and my plans and and stuff like that with them and I would like to to hear some feedback from you guys on on how you do it so thank you again for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Pappy Tinkers <laughs>